Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Just as Sonny is about to confess at the police station, Dante stops him. Dante disagrees with Anna's statement that it can wait. Martin barges in and demands to know why Anna hasn't disclosed the fresh information related to Alexis's case. After a valiant effort at deflection, Anna finally concedes that they were given a gun identical to the one Alexis threw into the river. Still, additional testing is required. Regarding the ballistics report, Martin inquires. She affirms that the gun used to kill Kate's does not fit the ballistics. Dex assists Molly in retrieving the paperwork she dropped in the courthouse. He mentions the fresh evidence in Alexis's case, but she is unaware of it. By telling her he doesn't want to put his work at danger. She knows, but she's at a loss as to what it might be. Molly and Dex crouch down to retrieve documents from the courtroom floor. Terry arrives at the lab curious to know if Brad discovered anything new from Heather's test findings. Before turning in his work, he wants to make sure everything is correct. Terry believes that's a smart move because everyone is watching him, particularly Portia, who doesn't want him there. Brad is confident he can make her change her mind. Brady prints Heather's lab report and grins as Terry exits. Portia tells her husband at Curtis's office that she altered Heather's cobalt test results. The hospital is now required by the court to provide all of Heather's test results. It's game over for Heather if they discover that her tests were falsified on the day she visited the lab, a place she doesn't often visit. Curtis says there's no reason to think she's tampering or anything. A flawed test or a mistake in the lab could be the cause of the error. She should merely carry on with her usual activities as long as they are the only ones who are aware. Ava knows, Portia informs him. He nearly loses it, but she knows that Ava would never harm Trina by reporting her. He reassures her that she should not worry and that he has her back. But when she goes for work, Curtis' optimism gives way to worry. In his office, Portia and Curtis look at each other gravely. Elizabeth becomes frightened upon being called to the PCPD with Rick. When Chase sees them, he hands them the gun they won. Rick can't be positive, but Liz believes it appears to be the one Alexis was clutching. Elizabeth scowls and nudges him to acknowledge that it appears to be the gun Alexis was carrying. Then Curtis calls Rick to discuss an urgent family issue. Diane shows up at the PCTD just as Anna is restating the necessity for additional gun investigation. Martin departs to submit a request to the judge in Alexis' case, and Sonny declines to make the statement he was ready to make. Molly receives a message when Dex asks her at the courthouse whether she feels better than when he saw her at the pub. She claims it's about the fresh evidence Dex was mentioning, looking hopeful. In the meantime, a security pulls Christina from Alexis's visitation at the jail in order to bring her to court. Christina believes Sonny has admitted. Later, wondering what's going on, Christina, Michael, and Sam cross paths in the courthouse corridor. As they walk inside the courtroom, Molly and Christina exchange a cold gaze. Returning to the hallway, Sonny informs Diane that he did not send the gun and does not know who did. Alexis is brought into court by a bailiff. Elizabeth is discovered by Terry in the hospital locker room. Terry questions whether Elizabeth's outburst regarding Rick is truly related to Lucky. Given that Lucky can no longer save Lulu, Elizabeth fears about Aiden, fearing that he will abandon her once more. Brad walks up to Portia at the hospital hub with a smug smile. He informs her that Heather's cobalt levels have drastically changed when she brings him to her office. She adds gently, trying not to show her nervousness, that her legal team, not him, should be concerned. He continues by saying that he found out the same day she used the lab computer. Dr. Robinson, should I worry about that? She questions why he is bringing this up to her, saying that testing failures occur frequently. Brat responds in a low voice that he simply wanted her to know how hard he's working and that he was able to identify such a stark difference. He therefore thinks that because he's back on a trial basis, she will have positive things to say if she is ever questioned about his job. 
Brad wonders if using his discretion or completing his due diligence by submitting his findings to the higher-ups would earn him a better review from Portia. Portia, speaking in a stilted manner, compliments him on his job and advises him to comply with all requests made by the police and legal teams. However, he shouldn't make things more difficult by sharing his thoughts about the outcome. In exchange, she will advise Terry to hire him on a full-time basis as soon as his trial term ends, if not before. Reminding her that he has the digital record, he hands over the copy of the test results and walks away. After he leaves, she slams the door and angrily tears up the report. Brady, clutching a report, smiles while Portia casts a worried glance off in the distance. Father to father, Curtis confronts Rick in his office about his support of Heather. Although Rick acknowledges his worries, he doesn't think Curtis' family should be afraid of her. Curtis disagrees and wants to know the next step in the process. Rick informs him that he has hard proof that metalosis was the cause of Heather's mental condition. Heather will get her court date, and she may be released right away. Alexis believes Dante was going to notify Sonny about the pistol before his father could confess while they are alone in the interrogation room. He confesses the idea occurred to him since he respects her too much to lie. She questions what has changed so much that he would go too far for Sonny this time. On top of everything with Lulu, Dante regrets having to inform Rocco that his grandfather is going to prison. Whatever occurs, Anna replies, Rocco will have Dante to support him, and that's what counts. She is aware of Dante's continued love for Lulu. For her life, Dante would give up his own. Martin requests that the accusations against Alexis be dropped in court once he provides a report on the found firearm. The prosecution makes an objection to it. Due to insufficient evidence, the judge dismisses Alexis's charges after giving the matter some fault outside of court. Again, Molly and Christina exchange cold glares while everyone cheers. Alexis informs Sonny that she is aware of his intentions for her. Sonny's commitment to the people he loves will never waver. Michael wonders where Molly is heading as he follows her to the hallway. Molly still holds Christina responsible for starting this whole thing, therefore she is unable to be around her. At the hub, Brad delivers Elizabeth Heather's test results. Elizabeth receives a computer alert after he leaves saying that they have identified Lulu's match. Elizabeth is discovered by Terry in the hospital locker room. Terry questions whether Elizabeth's outburst regarding Rick is truly related to Lucky. Given that Lucky can no longer save Lulu, Elizabeth fears about Aiden, fearing that he will abandon her once more. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.